Hello and welcome to Anton's TV. My name is Jack Duxbury and he's the Maltese Falcon. And we're edging towards 100,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, you're new here, thanks for watching. But all you gotta do is click to subscribe and you may be in the running to win some free stuff. In this video, we are talking about a new upright sample that they've released for Nord keyboards. It's an upright sample called the Pearl Upright. Now I went to their channel, go click it over to the Nord official website and the demo was beautiful. I saw a lot of comments though saying, oh, there's too many upright pianos. And so I went on the website, turns out there's 14 different upright pianos that you can load into your Nord. And so in this video, I thought I might help Nord users out there or potential Nord users hear the differences. So what I've done is I've recorded in a little ditty into my MacBook. So we've got the same MIDI each time and you're about to hear all 14 of the upright pianos with the same MIDI performance pumping into this Nord. You're gonna hear them back to back right about now. Stick about to the end where I'll explain some of the decisions we made, but let's get on with it and hear these comparisons, baby.
what a voyage, right? 14 wildly different pianos and very interesting to listen to. I just want to give you a bit of the technical gubbins. If you don't know, if you do and you know more, please let us know in the comments below. And let us know which one you thought was the best. I concede on that. <laughs> All the, I can imagine the comments, well, you didn't go soft, you didn't go high. I totally get that. The reason why I've kept the ditty in the middle of the piano is for the size of piano we've chosen here. If you don't know, on the Nord website, each one of those pianos, you'll have an option for a small, medium, large, and sometimes even an XL version of that piano. And that's pertaining to the size of it. And really importantly, we have a limited memory in whatever Nord piano you've got. So sometimes it's useful to be able to download a smaller version of a piano if you want to have more variety. We can't load the full versions of all 14 pianos in, so we went for the medium version. Now, what does that mean in terms of what are we losing over the XL? As I understand it, the XL version means that we have full layers of samples pertaining to the velocity, and if I could say the word pertaining again, I can. Pertaining to potato. As what happens when we get smaller, so imagine XL, full sample layers the whole way, and then large, oh, maybe at the end they've ditched that and there's only one layer there. And then as we get smaller, we come in here to the small, but I'm assured that in the middle they're all the same. And we tried that, we did a back to back with the XL, didn't hear any difference at all. One other thing was that for that example, I left the soft release on, which is exactly what it says, which just means when my Finger comes off and when the MIDI note ended, that it was slightly softer, it just sounded nicer and I often play with that on. And we had the string resonance feature, which simulates the resonance that would happen in the soundboard when my foot was on the pedal. We didn't do pedal noise because to trigger the pedal noise, you need a triple pedal. And some of the Nord products come with it, some don't, and it's a bit of money as well. So hopefully that is all the boring bits, making excuses out there. But we left it to the end of the video, and if you stayed this long, oh, you're patient, and I really appreciate it. Thanks to the Falcon. I highly recommend coming into Anderton's if you're anywhere near here. We're one of the few places I know where we have all of the Nord products out, and you can try them back to back and see if it's your type of flavor, because we love the action as well. Um, I know there's a lot of conjecture out there, but duke it out in the comments. Thanks so much for being here. Let's go, 2023, baby. <laughs>